Hey everybody, Jason here. Welcome back to Linux for Everyone and welcome home. Yes, I have installed Windows 10 on my Steam Deck. Now, some of you might view this as blasphemy, but I view it as simply exploring one of the options that Valve has given us. And I'm not some kind of Linux elitist who is going to say, you shall not dual boot Windows. I will say, use the tool that works for you. And obviously I hope that Linux is included in that tool chest. Now with all of that in mind, I, I think I have a pretty compelling reason for you to keep SteamOS on your Steam Deck. I started this massive thread on Twitter, which is still ongoing. So um, follow me, check it out. I'll have a link in the description where I'm just poking around on uh, Windows 10 on my Steam Deck and I'm I'm exploring the functionality and the battery life and specifically what I'm really diving into now is testing the performance of games on both Windows and SteamOS. And one of the first games that I have tested is Cyberpunk 2077 and I'm not even going to make you sit through the benchmark. I'm going to tell you up front with identical graphics settings SteamOS beats Windows 10, and it beats it by a lot. So what you're about to see here is a side-by-side -side comparison of Cyberpunk 2077 running on Windows 10 and running on SteamOS on the Steam Deck. And this is uh, both, both of these are uh, happening at the, the deck's native resolution of 1280 by 800. And I've used a uh, external capture card to grab the footage. So of course there's no, uh, there's no performance hit happening. And Windows should not be handicapped. What I've done on the Windows side is I, um, I slid the power mode slider all the way up to best performance or maximum performance or whatever that specific setting is. No FSR, no frame caps, etc. So it's just those two presets, no dynamic resolution, no ray tracing, any of that stuff. One important note before I let the benchmark footage roll is uh, what you're seeing is the third run of each benchmark. They were all pretty similar, but um, I wanted to capture the third run just to ensure that the shader cache warmed up a little bit. Okay, here we go. Hey, I'm back. You probably noticed some uh, really awful stuttering towards the end of that benchmark run. Uh, it was more dominant on the SteamOS side than it was on Windows, but it did happen on both. And what's interesting is that if you flick on GameScope's 30 FPS frame limiter on SteamOS, it completely melts away. It's super smooth the whole way through. Now, obviously I can't test that on the Windows side because there's no GameScope. And that's, that's one reason that, uh, that there's really quite an advantage to, to running the Steam Deck with SteamOS. And of course, if you want to add Windows, that's gonna be your decision. I will have a lot more videos uh, coming down the pipe that will hopefully help you with that decision. But let's focus on the numbers right now and then I'll get out of your hair. Average FPS for SteamOS, 45. Average FPS for Windows 10, 35. That's a difference of about uh, 28%. So 28% uplift from SteamOS. And that's considering, even considering that it's running a compatibility layer, which is insane. It is one hell of an amazing time to be a Linux gamer. Anyway, that's it from me. Hope you enjoyed the video. Many more to come. Until we chat again, you guys take care and take care of each other. See ya.